Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 111, or 111, um, on a Saturday night. How's everybody so going? We would get off when we're going down to Beverly, the Beverly yeah. neighborhood, we get off at 111th Street. 111th Street. Uh, it's kind of, that's kind of weird that it's, um, 111. That's but it adds up to three, so you it know. It does. By the way, I just want you to know. Yes. That, um, although it's a little bit late, I just found your Mother's Day gift. Got an ad from, an email from Wayfair. Laundry hampers are here. Oh, fantastic. Special I... limited time deals, best-selling laundry hampers. Nice. Can ha I wait? Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah. Here's a vacuum. Here's a... <laughs> Do you want lawn bowling instead? They got they got lawn bowling. They got patio umbrellas. I do want a patio umbrella for a new... Deck. There you go. So there... <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> uh, so we did more packing today. Um, as some of you may or may not know, we're moving at the end of the month. And um, it's now... That's all we talk about. Yeah. It's now in... Um, it's getting real, as people like to say. Um... So in a week from today, we pick up our daughter from college. So I'm so excited. A week from now, she'll be home, and she's going to be an awesome help. Um, and Well, we, she better be. Yeah, she is. Uh, and uh, I think we got a lot done today. I mean, I think uh, it's coming together. Um, we mentioned before, we have so many boxes in our basement just from things because we ordered Amazon last year every week practically but it really <laughs> i mean it, we did do a lot more in the last year but it isn't even just from that year because every time christmas holidays mm -hmm. whatever it was always like well maybe we should keep the boxes because what if we move someday and it has come in handy because some of the boxes we saw i was like oh perfect that's what my laptop came in that's what my right. monitor right. came in right. we uh, did keep some good boxes yeah. for things like that but it came to be pretty obvious halfway into this process that we kept way more boxes than we yeah. need so now we have the problem of having to get them all into the recycling and there's only so much they'll pick up on a given week yeah so and there's still those things that we were gonna we're gonna put outside for pickup uh, a couple um book cases or bookshelves um just put them out in our alley and see if somebody takes it um a chair that i had from my previous job that i sat in i don't even know how i came to own it but uh I, I don't want it were, anymore. I think they were just getting rid of them I or something so. like that. It's not comfortable at all, so I don't know. I think it was originally. I just think yeah. it, it just got worn down. Uh, you know, you don't want to say that an architectural firm had bad chairs. <laughs> That's true. That's not a good thing. So I think it was a decent chair that just at, at the time it was a decent old. chair. Now it's not. Uh, I thought you were going to say the old the the like twenty plus year old IMAX that we had. Yes. That we haven't used for 15 plus years, probably. Yeah, those are um, getting picked up on Monday. So, super excited to get um, more We stuff. have one that's, it's not the very first generation, but it's like the second generation. I'll have to look it up I because. Um, it was, it's the sage color, right? It was. Um, we had a gray one also, I think. Um, although we might have gotten rid of that one. And then we have the one that had that floating screen and the ha half globe sort of base yes which was supposed to look very futuristic so i'm gonna um so if you're looking for an old imac yeah just um come out in front of us so that's what i'm talking about like the, we have those, one like that and yeah. then we have one that's newer that has the like the floating screen and it's the small screen too so it's not even all that great yeah and then we played what was the game we played that was um um i think it was mist four was the one we played Forever on that game, on that uh, the iMac. With and the then it with it, did, you could play a CD in it. And I remember taking the kids when they were small to the library and getting video games where they could play it yes. on the computer. Um, one Thunder and Lightning isn't so frightening was one that was a huge popular thing back in the day. So that might have been our first Mac though. The what there wasn't even an iMac. The and is that the Pro one that came with the uh, Bugs Life? The iMac or the came, movie, the, the, I, the iMac came with the movie. Uh, the the yeah, the first iMac we got came with the movie of A Bug's Life. That is correct. Which was perfect because our kids were like three and one. And uh, also, <laughs> there was the that game called um, Bugdom. Yes, that's what I was which, trying to think of. But that was a game. Mm -hmm. But they came and it was similar kind of graphics and animation. But anyway, they, we played they, that to death. Yeah, also. that was fun. Back in the day, so and then you found your original iPod. 
Which is like this big. <laughs> you know, I'm not even sure it was my original iPod. No, it wasn't. Because I had one of the bigger ones that had the round dial on it. Um, oh, that you can do that, yeah. But... Um, but this was the one that I this was the one that I trained for that my first marathon with, and then when I actually ran the marathon, I got a, a a backup battery that you could attach to it, and it destroyed it. Oh, it gosh, fried that's it. right. So about an hour into maybe no, not even an hour into it, maybe half an hour into the race, it just stopped. That is the worst. Yeah, it was one of those things that plugged into the bottom. Uh, I think. And in, in any event, it killed my iMac. You know, I should have gone back to the old uh, Sony Sport Edition Walkman that I used yeah, to do. Exactly. I used to run triathlon. When I did the, tri the running leg of the triathlon, I'd listen to my Bruce Springsteen tape. Yeah, there's nothing worse than having 90 no minute music cassette. on a very, very, very long ride. A run. Um, or on a bike ride, <laughs> if you're training for something. No, I don't. I would not listen to music on a bike though, because it would be yeah, too distracting. Yeah, you have to be too aware. Yeah. Um, definitely have to be aware when you're of your surroundings. Like yeah. That. Uh, so yeah, we just had the best dinner. Um, I I liked mine. <laughs> the uh, best dinner. Yeah, it was very good. Um, we. I made it. Yeah, we, and then he had a restaurant deliver it, which I thought was so nice. Right. Um, right. there's a place in our town called Jim and Pete's, uh, which has been around. For about 75 years. Oh, it's been, uh, yeah, it's been a around. long time. Everybody. It's like really old timey, like Italian restaurant yeah. kind of thing. We haven't been in there in person. And um, I, I had only ever had pizza from there before. I'd only had pizza. Because also, it was also. a really common, uh, you know, like a favorite place to order mm -hmm. pizza from. That was a big deal. If we, we didn't order big out deal. pizza very often growing up, but, but when we did, we got it from Jim and Pete's. And no, we it never was did. Uh, mm -hmm. amazing. It was like so super exciting. Uh, so we were trying to find. Our regu other regular Italian restaurant, which we love so much, Cucina, in our town, um, when we did for delivery, it said the next option was Tuesday. And I'm like, then I go to their Instagram, and they're like telling what the specials are for tonight. And I'm like, well, why? What's going on? So I'd call them and then say, what's going on? And they're like, we don't have enough, enough delivery drivers. So try back in 20 minutes. And I'm like, but what well, if I, I try back, and then trying. it's like another 20 minutes, and then it's not going to happen. So... Um, we waited an hour for our food to come, so it was um, kind of a, a long wait, but it was worth it. But I think it's because, you know, I had lasagna and you had... Um, Baked ziti. Right, right, right. And those are not things that, you know, it's not like you just throw it together and put it in a container. Yeah. So I, that, I didn't really think of that until after the fact. Because we used to, when Leona's was in town, um, we would order um, those. I would get lasagna from there or similar things mm -hmm. and that would take time which is our other dilemma of moving and you'll have to go back to one of our very first episodes we talked a whole episode about pizza um, <laughs> we did. because that's something that's is true. very near and dear to our hearts and uh so we have been ordering from the same pizza place for over 20 years 25 years Longer. Well, yeah. we, we pointed out that we had our rehearsal dinner there, yep. and so that was 26 years ago. Yeah, we had a rehearsal dinner there, had amazing pizza, and then um, they kind of shut down briefly. We did have for pizza a, for our rehearsal. We did. That, that's right. I, I wasn't know. even thinking about it. Because people it's a regular, loved it. <laughs> it's a regular restaurant, yeah. But, um, but yeah, we had pizza because their pizza is really good. So then they had a brief hiatus where they closed that location down and then they uh, opened a new one. So maybe there was six months of a gap and there. Uh, anywho, so we've been ordering there. And they hunted us down. They, they did. They called us when they re when they opened the new location. Yeah. And so, we, hey, we're still in business. Yeah, I answered the phone. I was like, it's Salerno's and we are back. And I was like, I would like to. And it was a Friday too. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, can they, I order pizza they, right now? Yeah, and knew. you were coming home from work and I was yeah. like, our pizza's back. Yeah. So it was very exciting. So I actually had to send them a DM because um, <laughs> we're friends. And um, just tell them we've only have two Fridays left. Did you send it to the right Salerno's? I did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because there's more than one. Yeah. Yeah, I just sent it to some other. And well, the, no, no. The, there's, there's more than one. Location. More, location, right. And so there's an Instagram account that's specifically for the location that we yes. order from. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I sent them a thing just saying, um, we appreciate all the years of um, great pizza and we're only have two Fridays left. So, um, so make them count. <laughs> yeah. And actually back in the day, and I'm not joking, we would get, um, 
when everyone was eating meat in our house and, and dairy the because size. we would get a stadium sized pizza, which you could barely fit seen. in your door. It was like, so big. But we ate it, all five of us would eat it for dinner and we would eat it throughout the week. We'd have breakfast, like Saturday yeah. morning breakfast. After a long run, yeah. we'd go out and run and then come back and eat pizza. Yeah, and have coffee. Which, you know, may counteract the running a little bit, but carbo loading. It is. Because it's not a real thin crust. It's it's got a little substance. Yeah, to the crust. it's Very definitely good. got it. Yeah, it's amazing. Although, as I'm thinking about it, though, I think the stadium size was the was the thin crust. It was the thin crust. Yeah, so that's not quite as bad. Yeah. Still, you know, an it, unreasonable <laughs> quantity of pizza. <laughs> but it was even like, for five people. I know, but it, it because we wanted some for leftovers and stuff like that, and you know, that it was like you could really yeah. like. Anybody could have as much as they really wanted on a Friday That's night kind exactly of thing. Right. So, uh, yeah, exactly right. so that was kind of funny. So now the new town that we're moving to, um, we know nothing about the pizza scene. Um, mm-hmm. There's a Giordano's, so that's a Chicago um, thing. So. I'm, I'm thinking there's probably a home run in up there, too. Oh, snap. What if there is? That would yeah. be good. If not, get out at home run in. Yeah. Because we're going to need backup. We need to do start in three weeks. <laughs> and at the, at the, the nice thing about Home Run In is you can also buy them and, and they sell frozen pizza in the store. So yes. as a backup, you can always do that. There's definitely a backup. Um, I thought you were going to want to talk about Mother's Day, though. I, I do want to talk about Mother's Day. I mean, um, we can talk about pizza because I can always talk about pizza. But yeah. we're roughly 12 minutes in and we haven't really... I, t- I tried to introduce it's, the topic. It's Mother's Day tomorrow, so happy Mother's Day yeah. to all the moms out there. Um, and happy Mother's Day to your mom, Margaret, who is no longer with us, unfortunately. Um, my mom is 80, um, and, um, still going gangbusters. Yeah. (laughs) Bowling and... You can't slow her down. Yeah, cannot slow her down. Can't stop her, Jerry. (laughs) Um, but yeah, actually our, um, we have a call with our youngest tomorrow. She's in a call. And then our oldest is coming over. Um, and then it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, which is like kind of a bummer. Um, we got stuff to grill out. So. And not even, it's going to rain and be like 52. Yeah. Which, you know, by mid-May, well, it's not quite mid-May, but it's... Where is, last weekend was in the 80s, and we were like so hot. So, um... We were hot. <laughs> exactly. I, mean, I know, come on. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, looking forward to a nice day tomorrow. And then our middle child um, ordered... <laughs> breakfast from Whole Foods he's, Delivery, and um, so he has breakfast for me He tomorrow. is on the ball. Yeah. He's always with the presents. He, Wrapping. He's, he, he's always, when Christmas comes around, I'll be like, okay, what are you guys getting mom? And Mark's like, I took care of it. It's yeah. done. <laughs> exactly. I'm not saying the other kids don't Correct. also. Yeah, I but don't mean they that. aren't here. So but it, Mark is like, he's, he, he's the leader of that, like, <laughs> Mother's Day, birthdays, you know, Christmas. And always, amazing. like, way in advance of, like, yeah. not waiting till last minute, but, like, I, a month out. I, be like, I texted them a few weeks ago, the group, because I, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't tell you this. I should have said oh, that's okay. tomorrow <laughs> after the fact. But not because I didn't trust them, but because I kept thinking, you know, we have so much going on with the move. I just didn't want anything to fall between the cracks. And then also, of course, our youngest is away at college and everything like that. And so, you know, needless to say, Mark was already on the ball. Yeah. And they all had, they, again, I don't, mean yeah. to, I don't mean to make it like that. They all, they all responded that they've been thinking about it and yeah. so forth and so on. So, but it's just and actually, funny. Mark had cards made for our birthdays and had the other kids, like, um, sign it, take a picture of it, email it or text it right. to him. And then he printed their um, stuff with their names. So on it. it looked like they had just. They had all signed, signed it in person, yeah. and I was just like, "How did you do this?" You know, kind yeah. of thing. He thinks, so. He's like, "You're old. Man. Yeah, <laughs> you old people this don't know how, how anything it, yeah. works. This is how we do it. Yeah, um, I never would have thought of that myself. And actually, if anybody here is going to Macy's um, Mother's Day at the uh, Walnut Room, our son did a. Um, that is true. A, a mannequin there, decorated a mannequin um, as part of his class for visual merchandising that is on display there. Um, so that's kind of exciting. It is exciting. I'm not ready to go to a big um, place uh, like the one in that room. Uh, I was yeah. just thinking about, um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak poorly of my dad right now. Because I don't think, you know, 
he was wonderful in many, many ways. However, I got to say, when it came to Mother's Day, he did not really necessarily rally the troops. Like he <laughs> maybe should have. He kind of it was sink or swim, you know. Yeah. And that's mean. I shouldn't say that because he did many, many good things, and was and was extremely, um, um, you know, he was he was thoughtful and all that. He wasn't one of these people who just you know doesn't forgot. think about this. He never <laughs> forgot anything. But it was kind of like, you know, she's not my mother. She's your mother. Go, you know, and that's true. But um, the result of it was, I'm not sure I was very good with Mother's Day gifts. But as, other than little things like when you, when you put your your hand in the thing of plaster and right. then you paint it, you know. Although as the youngest of 11, you were kind of like off the hook probably for a really long time. Uh, uh, I don't think my mom would have thought of it that way. <laughs> I think maybe I thought of it that way. I'm not and sure she thought And you have six sisters, that so you think that they... Uh, <laughs> well, it shouldn't, that shouldn't That's true. make a difference. But in any <laughs> event. Um, yeah, I, uh, and, and the funny thing is, too, we're, we're talking about our youngest being in college. And I'm so old that when, when I was in college... It was a problem because because the semester would always it would almost always end um, the week after Mother's Day. Sometimes, depending on the timing of it, it would be the last you you'd be home on Mother's Day, um, or they had graduation on Mother's Day. It was a little awkward, but um, it was almost impossible to make a phone call on Mother's Day because you know you had a landline in your dorm room or your apartment or whatever, but the the you know when school was in session the population like doubled in champaign urbana that's probably not true but it went up significantly, significantly. so the, the phone system was like overly taxed the local switching station was overly taxed on mother's day and you'd pick up the phone and, and you wouldn't be able to make a phone call would it be dead or would it be like a busy signal i think it was you was kind of like you got a dial tone but you couldn't make the call yeah like, did you dial that you get a recording that said it can't go through. It doesn't. It's not going through. So that was another problem. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of funny when you think about that because nowadays nobody would have to worry about that because everyone has their own phone, <laughs> you know. Right. That's why she can't get it. I mean, not that she would anyway, but she doesn't <laughs> have any excuse. And we call tomorrow morning. Tomorrow and my dad tomorrow. always would, um, like, do a big brunch um, on Mother's Day. He was a great chef, so um, it would be really deluxe um well and when and and of course since it's on a sunday when i was growing up we'd always go to church same and then they always put out we always had a big post church breakfast mm -hmm. i guess you could call it brunch i never really thought about it in terms of the time of day right but we'd always Definitely. go in the morning mm -hmm. and there would always be bacon and eggs and the whole production on you know that was kind of cool that is it's almost like a little not um, the church but i just never got into it I was a bad church-going kid. I just never liked it. I'm I, sorry. I, I feel bad. I have <laughs> priests and nuns in my family. My godmother is a nun. And here I am slandering When I was in church. probably high school, I want to say, and probably even junior high, you could volunteer to leave the church service and go help babysit the littler kids. Oh. Um, so I always did that, which was awesome, because then you just stand in the back, and then at the... They would do like a children's sermon or something, and then all those kids would run back to me and whoever else was helping, and we'd go up and then just play games the whole time. And I was like, and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had, for a long time, we went to the gym mass, which was a kind of a 70s hippie thing. And uh, and in thinking back on it, it was pretty cool. Sometimes they would refer to it as a guitar mass because they would always have someone play guitar. And um, Did you have to sit on the floor? No. Um, oh, okay. No, but here's the thing. So, I mean, we would, uh, some family every week would have to volunteer to help set up all the, like, folding chairs. I can't, I, there may, they may also have had, like, those movable grandstands, like you'd have for, for, oh, like, yeah. for basketball games and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Because they like the play basketball. That... Yeah, the, right, the movable, like, bleachers. But for the most part, they had to set up um, uh, folding chairs, and they had to be kind of like in a semicircle. With with um, aisles, you know, and so we'd have to do that so far. And the best part about the um, the gym mass was that they didn't really have like a ha in the Catholic mass, you know, the sermon is they call it the homily. And I'm sure that term is used outside the Catholic Church, but in we like 
official term. So they wouldn't have a, like an actual homily. Instead, after the readings, the priest would like kind of introduce a topic, and they would pass a microphone around <laughs> for everybody who, for anyone who wanted to say anything. Of course, my dad almost always had something to oh, say. Oh, was that embarrassing? <laughs> It, it shouldn't have been because right. he was, he had a lot of things to say and he was very well respected, but it was embarrassing. Because <laughs> he was like, ah, don't pick up the mic. I remember my sister Mary saying to me one time, our father who art over there <laughs> is going to tell you to shut up if you don't. That's <clears throat> funny. Yeah. I don't think I would have, uh, my dad would have been the type of person to grab the mic Oh, yeah. Too. 100%. Oh, and you know what? It was great because they really were they were involved in the community. They cared. But and a lot God, of, it was embarrassing. I know, and when a you lot were of like the in stuff middle that, school. Yeah. Right? They're talking. And my mom didn't do it as much. She would occasionally, but it was my dad. He was, always had something to say. Well, in um, our church, it was, you know, we did potlucks a lot. So there was always potluck suppers. And since my dad was a, a chef, he would always make something really good. And then he'd make elaborate, like, note cards of, like, what the dish was and everything. And we'd be like, oh, my gosh. And any potluck I've been to, I've done, like, made, like, a card to say what it is. And it's not as and bad. And you wish you could get all those meals back. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of funny the things that they did that embarrassed you. I've certainly done as an adult. And I'm probably embarrassed our kids. So, sorry. <laughs> my mom didn't though. My since since we were talking about Mother's Day, my mom was never. Although she did tell us when we were kids, she always told us that she hated the fact. I, I she wouldn't use the word hate. Hate is such a is such a an extreme word. But she'd always tell us she didn't like the family dog. <laughs> and it was crushing. <laughs> she was joking, but she she was not really. She wasn't into pets. She didn't grow up with pets and all that sort of thing. So she wasn't into it. But she would tell me all the time that she didn't like. Heidi, our dog. <laughs> she was a great dog. <laughs> no, she was an erotic dog. She was a sweet dog, but she was not. Our, our second dog, Peppa, well, really the third dog. There was one before. I don't even remember the first one. But the second one that we had when I was in high school was really, really sweet. But, That's awesome. But Heidi, you know, she grew up with 11 kids in the house. And many of us were very young still. Yeah. I think it was only three when we got her. And, you know, neighborhood kids coming in and out of the house. We would, everybody hanging busy. out in the backyard. That poor dog. She had no chance. <laughs> no chance at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we're just looking forward to the day tomorrow um, of just uh, hopefully grilling out. We'll see what, what the weather is. No, we'll, we're going to grill. Yeah. Unless well, there's a tornado, have, you can grill out when it's You can definitely do that. Uh, and then uh, I'm not doing any packing tomorrow, so... The other, the other thing my, my mother always said, she told every kid in the neighborhood that she was 100 years old. <laughs> they would ask her how old was she was. She would say she, she was 100. It's kind of funny that they would ask, how old are you? Because <laughs> we didn't know any better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, every kid in the neighborhood would Although ask Although I like her to know age. everybody's age anyway, so... Because... But I wouldn't ask them to their face. I because we had about. a big family, and there was, was a big age range among the kids. Right. So the little kids were like around my age... You know, they saw my older siblings, and, and it must have just been a little confusing. Yeah. Because they were kind of like becoming adults while well, we were still pretty young. Yeah. So they would... How does this work? She, she would always say she was 100 years old. And they were just like, okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. They, they just, okay. Because it was, it just, it didn't mean anything. It just meant older, you know, or yeah. old or whatever. But. That is so funny. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I hope that everybody who um, gets a chance to celebrate um, it does yeah. in some capacity. For those moms who want to be moms but are not uh, thinking about you, um, and then missing Absolutely. your mom. <laughs> yeah. Talk amongst <laughs> yourselves. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it took me by surprise. I know, but it, I, Dave's mom was like so nice. Um, yeah, where the hell did I go wrong? <laughs> No, she was a very nice lady, so I'll just be like very clapped. And um, happy Mother's Day to my mom. Yeah. Um, we'll see. I'll see you soon sometime. We still have stuff in her house, <laughs> um, and I still have some things from my childhood in her basement still. We so um, do have stuff in her house. Yeah. Oh so this year, promise twenty twenty one, getting all our stuff out of your house. <laughs> it's our it's our New Year's resolution. I know. So one of my friends was saying how, um, and they're like in their so a coworker that I have is in their like late 20s and saying that how they still had like 
you know, stuff in their parents' attic, like old, you know, things from high school and things like that. And then I was like... Yeah, but we put stuff back in your mother's house. We did. That So it was like, it wasn't It was there, out, and now it's there. And then we there. brought stuff. So that's, you know. Yeah. And I was like, oh, well, I'm in my 50s. I still have stuff from my childhood in my mom's house. So well, Is, You have stuff from your childhood there? Well, just like memorabilia, things from high school. I think my, um, my costumes from like um, drill team and stuff like that. Oh. That I makes sense. I was when you said costumes, I was thinking Halloween. <laughs> no, like, really? All my clown costumes. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Um. So yeah. Um. Thanks for joining us tonight, and we are just gonna relax with us the evening and um just chillax tomorrow. And hope you guys have a great day, and we will talk to you next time. Have a good night.